Yeah, it's going. Just be careful with it. Make sure it's like still that. going when you got it. Shit, my wife don't bother me. She done went through enough with me. She know me. And I can't control this, man. You know what I'm saying? You got Either, it like I'm, that, I'm, huh? my, the best thing to do is just leave him alone. You know? She ain't gonna tell you what to do. Hell no, man. There was times I've come up missing for two weeks, man. Really? There, that was back in the day. I've come up missing for two weeks. Pop up like I was never gone. It's like. Papa you know, was come a right in the crib. What's that song? Cook Papa, something to eat. Papa was a Rolling Stone. Papa was a Rolling Stone. Rolling <laughs> 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 one day and everything. <laughs> well, you know, I got kids by multiple women, right? Oh, you do? Yeah, and I always had my kids together, even from day one, especially like the two youngest. When they were born, I took them straight home. I didn't take them to the real mama, even though the real mama did keep them some. But all my my kids are always right. They were raised together, man. You know what I'm bit. saying? I got I got. They were raised that. together. I gotta learn how he does that. Man. Yeah, yeah. It was just how the spirit is, man. Let me That's an Israelite that does that. That's a custom that an Israelite does. Yeah, that, I mean it is. I, so I'll be at the other one woman's house for a few days. Well, then again, I was going back and forth. You know, whatever. If I felt like not going to one, I wouldn't go to one. They didn't bother me. So went on like that for years and years and years until. The black bitch is decided. I know more it is. <laughs> you know. They start getting jealous. Yeah, yeah. They find their excuses to move on when you know what I mean? They they they, they, on, they There's a scripture that say that a woman is jealous of another woman. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah, hypocrisy. Well, hell, men get jealous of other men. Well, we're supposed to though. Because well, you know, a man ain't supposed to be with your with your woman. Yeah, right. we can't that's the that's the beauty of the Bible, see. Because you in the Bible. It says a man can have as many women as he wants, really? but, a, but a woman can only have one man. One. That makes sense. Cause that makes sense too, because there's way more women than men. You know what I mean? So it was obvious the Lord created a ton of women for us. I wouldn't say way more. It's kind of. Yeah, it's, 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 way it's, it's way more. It's like nine to one. Nine to one? Oh, yeah. hell no. I don't know about it. Man, you know, it you might never be worse than that. It might be. It might be. Nine women to all one all they got is estimates. Because nobody really knows how many people there are anyway. It's just estimates. Right. You know what I mean? You can only guess. 90 to 10. No, I think it's more like that's why in, that's, that's why in China, they got a... 6 to 4. You know, over there in China, they got that one child policy. Right. But if it's a, a baby girl, you, they usually abort the little girls because there's too many women over China, there. China, India. Yeah, India. There's way too many women. All right. I thought they thought women were useless, so... Better to have a man. Well, yeah, that's how they, a lot of them look at it. Women, the woman is useless. Yeah. Right. You know? So, you know, a lot of them heathen nations are natural homosexuals anyway. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all sodomites. Faggots. You know? That's how they are. That's just their nature. I seen that shit when I was in Thailand. I was up in Thailand. I was training with the Thai Marines when I was in the Marine Corps. And all the Thai Marines, they're like, oh, hey. They're like, really? Oh, rubbing on each other and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> shit is fucking scary. <laughs> That's just part of the heathen culture. You know what I mean? There's a bunch of faggots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've seen some weird shit in Thailand, boy. Well, you don't ever want to go there. Right. I, I actually imagine. seen a bunch of horses. I, want to talk actually, I don't I, want to go to no Pakistan or India. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. Now, actually, Thailand... Well, the, the horror part was good. It was like, like you go down to a patio beach. If you go down there, just imagine all these buildings right here, as far as you can see. Just pretend all these are whorehouses. That's Thailand. That's awesome. Really? Yeah. That's some little like makeshift buildings. Yeah, but it, there's some weird shit going on there. They got whorehouses where there's actually little boys in there. People be raping little boys. When I was in the Marines, they said don't go to this part of town because that's where all the uh, the, where they be fucking little boys, and you y'all was not allowed to go there. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. And they actually told us, and then you you see motherfuckers walking down the street with little little boy prostitutes. Well, they don't mess with little girls, just little boys. Well, they do little girls too. Hey, they they do it all, bro. Right you name it, they got it. Well, it's just part of nature. I mean, the law says you can't do it, but you have a natural instinct to do it. She. What law says you can't do it? The government says you can't. That's the government. Fuck with children. Oh, that's the nature. Man. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, yeah, well, well, woman, though, I'm saying, well, a woman, as long, the Bible says you can have sex with a woman as long as she's had a period. She's, you know what I'm saying? She's um, already got her cycle. So yeah. when do these young girls get their cycle? What age? Starting earlier and earlier. Well, that's because all yeah. the, that's because all the fucked up food and shit, mm -hmm. but yeah. naturally, it's usually around 12. Yeah, mainly them steroids. 13. 
You know, even in the Vatican over there in, uh, you know the Vatican, the legal age of marriage at the Vatican is 12 years old. 12? Yeah, it's legal age of marriage at the Vatican. Oh, it's 13. It's 12. You mean in, in, in Italy? Yeah, the Vatican City State. Because you know it's its own country, right? Yeah. Just like Washington, D.C.? It's the smallest country on earth, yeah. Just like Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is not part of the United States, you know that? It's a, it's a, it's a district of Columbia. Right. It's his own. It's part of the United States. It, no, it's not. It's not part of the United States. If it's, it's surrounded by it's, other states, it's, it's own so, by other it's states? its own sovereign entity. But is it surrounded by other states? Well, yeah. You look at the continent of Africa; it's surrounded by all kinds of states. Yeah, right. <laughs> DC is not in a state. It's called the District of Columbia. You mean it's out in the ocean, Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> I mean near the ocean. Yeah, right. It was between uh, what Maryland and uh, mm -hmm. uh, fucking Virginia, right? Mm -hmm. I, I know it's a district, but. To me, it's part of the country because you know. But no, I mean, if the president I'm lives talking about here, technically, we need to go down there. Though. We need to go to Washington D.C. quick, man, because oh, it's just too much to make a nice video down there, man. I hate that place. Yeah, it's awesome down there. I love it down there. Just yeah, I mean, like now, you got there. wisdom, man. It's, that place there is, is a lot of places there is a lot of shit down there. A lot of free, free, uh, free Masonic shit everywhere you look. The whole city's free Masonic. The whole city, yeah. Yeah, everywhere you look is a goddamn free Masonic statue. What's Masonic? The Masons, the Freemasons, right. devil worshippers. And you got that woman scripture? Do you ever find no, it? I can't find it. Oh, I can find it. I got you. You know what I think? Women jealous over another woman. I'm not sure if it says jealousy or jealous. You know, I actually my search thing, hold on. Because look, you look up jealous, it'll bring up jealousy too. I think it's in the 26th chapter. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, let me go through it. I'm gonna read it quick. Oh, I'm just not uh, Ecclesiastic is 26 and 6. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman. What's that 26 and 6? Yeah. Let me find it. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and a scourge of the tongue which communicateth with all. That's right, because that jealousy with these women, man, could bring. I mean, you can imagine what the, what the sports is brewing up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For what? Because when a woman, her natural instinct, her, her nature is to accept another woman yeah. being with her husband. That's right. her nature. But they're taught through this goddamn society, brainwashing these women. That man ain't supposed to be with no another woman. Yeah. You know? People like Jane Fonda. I was going to say, Oh, Jane Fonda. Are you ain't charge these batteries good? Why is it about to die? Yeah, about a half hour. Oh, uh, it's green. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened. It was charged. I had it on the charge for like a, a minute. Oh well. Well, you got the other batteries in there for a while. Yeah, so these hoes out here, man. Oh, I guess like, time passes when you ain't holding the camera. Yeah. So you guys were out here this summer too, the past summer? We don't, you know, we out here we, every week. Man, we've been coming out here on the Thursdays. Every since, week. Since a long time ago. Really? Every week. We don't miss we don't miss it, period. We just like don't miss it. Actually agree with you or well you know. Maybe go kind of people. people. Have you seen him you. before? Huh? Have you seen him before? Boy, he's 15. I mean, he's, he's allowed to learn. He's got a, he says got a, 15. He's, hey, he's still learning. I, I got a search. We all we we still learning. <laughs> the, the, the Bible says, remember that creator from the days of thy youth. <laughs> I also say you can't put new wine in old bottles. <laughs> <laughs> can't put new wine in old bottles. Can't put new wine in old bottles. Yeah. He calling you a old bottle. <laughs> so you, you ain't accepting this right behind me. You you're, can't four, you're 48, right? Huh? You're 48. But I was chosen from the beginning for this work. You're 48. Who, me? Yeah. 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 All right. Exactly. You know? <laughs> so you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's worse than a curse word right there. Calling someone an old, calling someone an old bottle. It's really a bag because really they had wine bags. Because in the ancient world they would take the wine and put it in a bag. But if you had an old wine bag and you put new wine in it, it, it the bag would explode. Leather pouches. Yeah. Leather would keep liquid in the bag. Well, they they sold the leather up. It's leather. And oh, back then, they took right. their time with that sink doing that, putting them things together, man. Can they use it like a cow stomach too or something? You're right, yeah. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. Too. No, that's not. That's what, the Indians use every part of the cow. They didn't let mm -hmm. a single piece go to waste. And you know plus, they, something about that leather, man, it makes that, it keeps that wine nice and fresh. It ain't nothing like 
plastic. All right. Yeah, plastic got all that. Uh, what's that? Bisphenol A and all, and all that. that. Mm -hmm. It's got mm -hmm. it's got estrogen. They call them estrogen mimickers. It's in the plastic. That's crazy. Yeah. And all your plastic, it, it it puts estrogen into your water. So when you're drinking it, it is making you feminine. That's right. That's right. Making you it's feminine. Just, it's a tox. It's toxic. Period. Just yeah, like rubbers you put on your motherfuckers be putting on their dick. That's oh yeah. That white motherfuckers be catching um I don't never wear be catching condoms. infections just from the rubber. Just yeah, this shit be irritating. Maybe you should. That shit goes. <laughs> hey man, I go in the spirit world when I fuck these bitches. Say what? Yeah. I go in the spirit world when I fuck these bitches. Alright. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's a scripture out in the Bible and when uh was it uh, Omen? Oman in the book of Genesis? He was supposed to have sex with a woman and he uh, he I don't know how else to say it, but he Busted a nut on the ground. Oh, the one that put to death. Instead of doing it inside the woman, so yeah, you're supposed to go high, all up in the woman. Yeah, when you most do high. It. Put, uh, uh, his brother died. Yeah. And this man knew the Lord that he was supposed to have uh, have a have a child with this woman. Yeah. And he didn't. He pulled out and nutted on the ground instead. Yeah. When the most high, or you know, it was his commandment of him to have a baby with this woman. So that's the whole purpose of having sex is to get her pregnant. That's right. Instead of pulling out, wasting on the ground. And it feels- There's it no if, guarantee it's going to make her pregnant. I mean, there's no guarantee. Well, dude, if the spirit's working with you, it, you know. And it feels a lot better too. You Ooh. just go all up in it. <laughs> and I'm telling you, Ain't man, that's how you know, out over here. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. how you know your woman is your woman. If you're nothing in their pussy <laughs> and they don't have no, um, no bad reaction to it. Yeah. That bitch, if you if you nut that bitch and she have a, a, a chemical imbalance, when she starts sticking the next day, uh, she doing something wrong. Yeah, man. she's with another dude. She's doing something wrong. She already got another dude. That's right. Cause you, yeah, cause you can tell too. You That's can right. you can tell when your woman's with someone else, man. All right. What's up, man? What's up, homie? Yeah, he's all best of Jake. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but his nature, his his nationality, his people. They look down on us. They too good to talk to us. Oh, was he? He was a mobile, a Chinese. Goddamn cheek. Yeah. Right, because you guys, our, our people are scattered among them heathens. Like, Bruce Lee. I saw his face. They have Bruce Lee. Lee. He had the face of a, a nigga. We can never stop using the Bruce Lee analogy. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Bruce Lee is Chinese, but he's really one Jet of Jet Li. Really? Yeah, he's an actual nigga. Yeah. You know? Just like, uh, I'm thinking of somebody from a different country. Didn't something. he die before you were born? Hell yeah, he died like in the... 72, 71. That wasn't that, that early, was it? Mm -hmm. No, because Brandon Lee wasn't that old. Do a Google search. You do Google yeah, search. look at that shit. It was, I thought it was 81. What, Maybe, uh, I thought it was like, I don't know, dude. Bruce Bruce I was born in like 1970. I was born in 77. Bruce Lee? No, I'm talking about... Uh, no, I was born in 77. So you were born in 1984? Or 1981. 81. Was you born 1940s? <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 62. 62. Oh, shit. The flower child. Yeah, that's all. He grew up in the 70s. It was the good old days. He rock us in Jimi Hendrix. Well, he's a little baby. I still remember them days, too. Some of my friends listen to Jimi Hendrix. You don't smoke weed and listen to Jimi Hendrix? Me? Yeah. No, no. What kind of music you listen to? <laughs> and some jazz. You look like a jazz guy. No, I'm more of a uh, instrumental. Uh, yeah. like instrumental jazz. Too. Instrumentals are good. You don't got to hear none of that blasphemous speech. Yeah, because once you start adding words, kind of, you know. Yeah, you words, think more freely words, when there ain't no yeah. words to this shit. That's what I like about Jimmy, because a lot of his was instrumental. You know what I mean? All right. He just played that damn guitar for an hour straight. Mm. Some Stevie Ray Vaughan. You don't fuck with Stevie? Oh, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan's an Israelite, obviously. 73. 73, damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, he died in 73? Yeah. God damn. And Brandon Lee was a couple years old when he died. Oh, that was, I, I thought it was, I didn't know Brandon, that. Yeah, he died in a movie. The son a was movie. an idiot. Shoots himself with an air gun in the head, right? No, he got shot in the making of the crow. They made that crow movie. Yeah, because he got shot him with a blank. He he got shot with the blank gun. I don't know. Whoever did it didn't know that that could kill you. I thought um they probably assassinated his ass. Yeah, yeah. No, they put live ammunition in there. No, because they they kill. That's what takes is that air to kill you. That Bruce Lee was assassinated. Bruce Lee was assassinated. You don't know that. All these superstars that die early, they're all assassinated. You know, you ever see that movie? You know who Randy Quaid is? No. Right, he played Cousin Eddie. 
on a, a national <laughs> You crazy ass motherfucker. Yeah, he's an Israelite indeed. That's my boy cousin Eddie. I kick it with him any day. Oh, here comes a Jake, a Chinese Jake. But no, hold up. Get on since you got the internet now. Get on YouTube uh -huh. and they got videos of Randy Quaid giving a press conference saying that they was trying to kill him. They say what they do. He said that they kill uh, superstars and then after they're dead, they take all their money. So that's why they killed Tupac. Because Tupac, you know, Tupac released more albums after his death than he released when he was alive. So they killed his ass. He's they had still all coming out with albums. And they made all this money off this motherfucker after his death. And, and it sells. And it's kind of young when you got shot. And plus, when you're dead, it sells even better. It sells, you get better sales. That's like why they. In his 20s? Yeah. 27 Club. You, you get on the internet, there's all kind of conspiracy theories about how they killed Jimi Hendrix. Mm -hmm. they, they knew they could have saved him. They, they made sure he uh, died. Mm -hmm. you know, well, let me tell you one thing about conspiracy theories. There's always been. There's always going to be conspiracy well, the, theories. I mean, come on. Well, yeah. like anybody can well, start on, a conspiracy bro. theory. But almost, every greatest musician or ever, Damn near all of them, they all dropped dead at an early age. They got the 27 Club, yeah, like Kurt a list. Cobain. Everyone Ooh, died they when they were 27. He was in the 27 Club. Yeah, they, they called the 27 Club. Why can't you just believe Man, That's a himself. conspiracy. Yeah, they killed that motherfucker. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> this motherfucker, a millionaire, you think he's gonna blow his own damn head off? He's the biggest superstar in the world. Man. Man. Depressed? This motherfucker was living large. They killed his ass. He was living large. What's the dude that played Batman? Oh yeah, he's let off. Oh, Randy Quaid, he said they killed my good friend Heath Ledger. You know, Bat he played a Joker in Batman. Oh, did he? That's Randy Quaid said it. He said Heath Ledger was a good friend of his, and he knew that they killed him and said they took his money. Pretty overdose. Of course, it's always the overdose. You see what Latoya Jackson said? Janice Joplin, huh? you heard of her? You hear what Latoya Jackson said after Michael died? What she said. She said, um, she said, oh, they finally got him. They finally got him. She said they finally got him. They got his ass. They killed Michael. It was the doctor. They said it was the doctor that killed his ass. Mm -hmm. but, but Michael deserved to die. <laughs> Michael deserved to die. I don't like Michael Jackson. I can't believe he got that many fans. But who else they killed? Uh, the the world. Bradley Noel. Bradley Noel from Sublime. They killed his ass. Made a ton of money off of his death. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of someone. You don't think any of these? I things already things said, things said Janis Joplin. I mean, I'm sure some of that wine, Amy Winehouse, they said she's a crazy They killed the whole Leonard Skinner band. Oh, yeah, they killed the whole band, Leonard Skinner. They didn't have no fuel in their plane when they took off. Now, how stupid would that be to take <laughs> Come off? Come on, bro. <laughs> that's like how a, stupid would that be? Now, that's one of the best bands ever, too, Leonard Skinner. They made some good rebellious that music. Free Bird or something like that. Was yeah, the best Freebird. song ever. That's one of the greatest songs ever created. I'm going to focus on Down South. All right, the whole the band died with Stone Cold. The whole band. Oh, not the whole band. No. But the singer, I mean, the main parts of the band. Yeah, damn it. They blew, they, they ran out of fucking gas. How stupid is that? They was assassinated. That's so clear. It's so obvious. They didn't know they didn't have enough gas in there. How can you not know? Who would not check that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's it's just common question. sense. This is common right. sense. Who would not check that? You know? And Stevie Ray Vaughan, they blew his ass up in a plane. In a plane crash. Uh, mm -hmm. Buddy Holly. Uh, well, oh, Buddy he Holly, wasn't that, that good, though. That might have been an accident because they collided with another hey, plane. Hey, uh, one of the Kennedys was killed in the plane crash, too. Robert, what's his name? Robert Oh, Jr. they killed all the goddamn Kennedys. That motherfucker was trying to bring... Um, yeah, there ain't no to, conspiracy. He was trying to do something with the currency, bring a silver back, a silver, bring a silver back into the currency. Something like that, man. I ain't, I ain't read by it in a while, but... Yeah, they killed one of the Kennedys. Yeah, they, they assassinated. Well, they blew JFK's top off in front of the whole damn nation on, whole on, on, on TV. Yeah. They said, well, said, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah, I forgot his, what was that, his nephew who died in the plane crash mm -hmm. in yep. the 80s or 90s? Yep. Yep. You said they just, 90s. they just 90s. killed Robin Williams? I don't care, but I hate Robin Williams. What? He's a big douche, I'm though, you're right, yeah. though. Yeah. Jumanji, he come a, on. He made a couple movies. He was a huge faggot in the movie. Yeah, he oh, was. Mrs. Doubtfire. No, we was watching, Kissing me in there. my mom was just watching that movie. Uh, she was telling me about it. He, he played a faggot. It was, uh, it was a yeah, uh, listen, I can't think of There's so many of them. She was in like 40 movies, Good but movie. I didn't see any of them. 40? More yeah, like I mean, 200. 200? Man, no, they, yeah. They had to listen to papers, like oh, yeah. 50 or 60 movies. Yeah, he didn't, he ain't no Samuel L. Jackson now. Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> been what like... What them bastards doing? What them bastards up to? Were they police? Going to get some Panera bread.
We got kicked out of Panera Bread. Panera Bread is it's closed. They were banned from there. We got banned from the alarm's been going off. Why can't you go back in there? We're just talking to people. We just talk. We just talking to someone. We on their property, yeah. But we didn't do nothing. We just we was talking about. Actually, I was talking. We was talking about. I told some lady. I was like. I was telling him how some black, it was a black guy who invented the street lights. That's really all I said, then they kicked us out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because we was in there teaching truth to people and they kicked us up. They didn't like it. Oh, yeah, on their property. It was some pretty ass lights. How do you know? I mean, Dan Dude got his hand on his gun. particular manager kicked you out. You can go back in there. No, I don't want to go back in there. They never get my money. What up, Dan? No, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? They never get my money. They can go straight to fuck them. Some Brazilians. You can tell Brazilians from a mile away. What is it again? Cincinnati. Kings Island, yeah. See? That's where people are. Huh? Kings Island. Cincinnati, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's off. Cincinnati ease. <laughs> Cincinnati ease. Y'all some Cincinnatians? Some Cincinnati. That, that's a real hellhole, too. Cincinnati ice. Yeah, here it is, but. Cincinnati ice. Cincinnati. Sin, Cincinnati has sin, sin, sin in it twice. Oh, that's a that's a breeding ground for Cincinnati. What's it? Man. Cincinnati, look up the. I did some research on Cincinnati. You got something called the Society of Cincinnati or something like that. A secret society started by Benjamin Franklin. You ever heard about that? They said that's like one of the top secrets, free free Masonic societies. Wow. Uh, it's it, some crazy. Cincinnati. Yeah, look behind. Cincinnati goes back. Oh, they got the first major league baseball team. It goes team. back to some ancient Greek shit, I think. Cincinnati name itself. Yeah, you have to look that up sometime. I'll study it before I don't forgot. I'm check it out. It, had, it go back to some ancient Greek shit, I think. Because you go to Cincinnati, that's all you see Relax. around is name Benjamin Franklin. You yeah. see Ronald Reagan's name. Oh, you see it everywhere. Oh, uh, Franklin. You know the the bottoms on the west side. That's named after Benjamin Franklin. Franklinton. Yeah, Franklinton. Oh, all right. You know the bottoms. Because originally Columbus was originally two cities. We had the part of this one part was started by the Germans. The south side. On this side of the river was started by Germans. And the other side of the river, I guess, was I don't know what the fuck it was. Right. So, this wasn't the original. Uh, you got a lot of Germans in the country. More that's the most popular Caucasian is Germans. Yeah, that's what I heard. But how can you read Caucasian you know, and German? There's more Irish. There's more Irish in American than there is in Ireland. Really? Yeah. So, the yeah, slave about ships. The Irish people, they was respecting him. I don't know why. I mean, they act like they kings and everything. The Irish, Irish dude? Yeah. I mean, the people in this. Well, shit, King James was. Early part of this he country. was Irish Scottish. Oh, they hated he was the Irish. King of Irish, Irish and Scottish. Yeah, they looked down on the Irish yeah, when they so came over on them immigration boats. There's a special hatred to them. A lot of the Irish came over here on slave ships. They, were right. they came over here as um, ditch of servants. Yeah, well, they yeah. were uh, the ones that came over here and they were criminals and they was kicked out of Ireland. <laughs> you know, just like you go on the west side and south yeah. side now, you crazy white motherfuckers. Yeah, go there. Crazy they, white motherfuckers. Yeah, they nuts. It was the same shit then, man. They came, they had them, they kicked them out of that land. They shacked them up and got, you gotta go. And that's why, that's why all you get the hillbillies. The hillbillies come from a lot of Scots or Irish going to the hills. Cause they wasn't accepted up in the, uh, this big city, so they had to flee to the hills. <laughs> that's where you get hillbillies, boy. All yeah, right. boy, that's a. That's... Ooh, ain't no hillbillies, Jakes. They niggas. Yeah, it's an Israelite. Ain't nothing but niggas, man. <laughs> they just look like white boy. That's all. Hey, that's scary. I know. Oh, you know, you know where the word redneck comes from? <laughs> they say the word redneck comes from when they was a. Uh, you had the uh, the sla the black slaves working out in the fields with the the Irish and shit. And they make fun of them, you know, redneck. Cause they get burned up in the sun and shit. They make it. It's a. It's, That's funny. You mean the white people's necks are turned red, or the black people's? What the How black people the make black fun people's of? Black people was making fun of the white people working in the because they work together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. right, right they be right. cracking on them. You, you got never the, seen um um twelve year slave? Nah. I still ain't seen that. I don't like man, slave y'all missing it, man. I don't they never, showing, they give I never you an example movies, of an yeah. Irish motherfucking slavery in that movie. Huh? They give you an example of a white dude in slavery in that movie. I'll do that? Yeah. I'm gonna have to watch that shit. Yeah, man. he sold out the black dude though. <laughs> he sold out the That's black too dude. That's impressive. I can watch slavery. He was serving a prison sentence. Really? And as a, he had a service prison sentence. Oh, they show you that. There's this movie. It's called, you know who uh, Errol Flynn is? The old actor in all the pirate movies? Yeah. You only got no footage. Yeah, actually, I got Ivy Corp. Oh, my man. 
Uh, there's an old movie with Errol Flynn in it. Man, it's called The Seahawk, I think. Back from the 30s. Uh -huh. And it shows what he was just talking about. How they take the irs and they put him aside pretty much like a, what they call a kangaroo court. And the, and the judge is giving them all ridiculous, crazy sentences. <laughs> just, and they shipping them all off to work in, uh, uh, down in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they would just ship them off, and they and they showed them in there whipping the shit out. The Irish, mm -hmm. was, they're pretty much slaves. There's a movie about that in Australia, because um, I think that's where they first ended up, the Irish and Scottish in Australia, if not if I'm not correct. Yeah, they shipped them off to Australia. Was founded as a prison colony. And they were beating their asses. In there. Like mean before the Mayflower got here? Nah, it was like, way after that. It was way after the Mayflower. What is that? That caffeine? I have no idea. What is that? No, ibuprofen. Oh, dang, I, I take that shit. Help I need deflammatory shit sometimes. Uh, deflammatory for what? Deflammation. I, I got injuries, son. Deflammatory. What's hey, what's in, what, what's inflamed? Oh, you got a headache. You know your yeah, bones are getting inflamed. Oh, you got arthritis or something. You take that for your bones? Yeah, well, I got a fucked up shoulder right now. All right. I can't even fucking lift weights or nothing. I can't, I'm struggling, I can't do fucking push-ups. How'd you mess up your shoulder? I don't fucking know. It just, I just woke up one day, that shit was fucked up. Where you sleeping? <laughs> yeah, probably the most way out sleeping. I jacked him up. Part of them curses, man. Part of them curses. Yeah. I was being wicked, that's why. Hold on, man, once you hit 30, that just starts happening. You down there 40 now? <laughs> most of my shit ain't happened to in my 40s. Really? Everything wrong with me ain't happened to my 40s. Everything. I went through my, what's wrong with you? Yeah, where could I start? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I took some, um, I was taking some supplements from GNC. Fucked my uh, my stomach up. I got a 17 bulging disc from a car accident. And, uh, soda problem. Oh, what the fuck is that? Knee problem, foot problem. Really? I'm all fucked up, man. I'm all fu I don't care. You look like you, you know, healthy and everything. Well, that's because I, I still run and walk a, a lot. All right. You know, I still I, I keep my heart strong, man. I keep my heart so you'll never know what these one, one young motherfucker run up on you on the scrap. I know. You know? Oh, did you know I almost got beat up down here? Oh, no, 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 no. How will we know about? <laughs> Some dude tried to kick me in the nuts. Tried to rob me. That, that's yeah. A, that's about how you get your ass. He actually, he actually missed, but I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that was a warning. Oh, that's a warning. <laughs> that's a warning. He came from behind me to <laughs> kick me in the nuts. The, the next one ain't going to get you. Yeah. You'll be out there like, ah. <laughs> right. For real, man. Most high warning. Because you an Israelite. You an Israelite. And and you, you can't reject this book. Especially, you, you know, heard this truth more than most Ooh. people. You done heard it plenty of times. <laughs> yeah. But this truth. We done told you this truth a billion goddamn times. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. But you Some of it's true, but like, I wouldn't give it too much consideration. Now you can sit here and kick it with us or talk to us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you just got no faith. Yeah, you were just huh? a few people to talk. Just, yeah. I just can't believe intelligent people are doing this. That's what I'm saying. He worried just said intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only to take time. Yeah, you got you. <laughs> that's, that's, one, that's one of the reasons why we are doing this. Because we got sense. We, we, yeah, we got sense. <laughs> she hey, the, the Bible we says we, we know all we know all things. <laughs> well, you know, we can sit out here, we can kick truth for hours straight, non-stop. Yeah, yeah. And never run out of shit to talk about. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is simple. Okay. To fear the Lord is fullness of wisdom and filleth men with her fruits. Fills men with fruits. <laughs> yeah, because. Cause, oh, yeah, because you just two kinds of fruits, too. You're going to eat the, uh, the fruit. <laughs> you eat it at. That, that the, the serpent fruit you you eating that forbidden fruit you know what I'm saying <laughs> forbidden fruit yeah you eating the serpent fruit <laughs> serpent juice he ain't got a serpent juice today oh Whatever. yeah where's your, where's your lizard juice at huh? oh, he, he about to it's brew it up he about to mix it it's kind of in there right now he's like, oh you got some pago I'll like, go spray some pago he's like ICP yeah, yeah. I'm down with the clowns I'm down with the clowns huh 
<laughs> What'd you say? You, get, you said you down with the clowns? Magic Ninja, what? Yeah. What's that mean? Uh, Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> no, they, they, that's all they do with this Fago. They spray real for retarded. Well, Kroger was close. I did that. You know, that's, you, know. you know all that shit's built. You got nothing but high fructose corn syrup. I know. Made from GMOs. They don't bother me, I mean. Yeah. That's what you think. Coffee, so I just drink, you know. That shit causes cancer in mice. Really? It causes yeah. tumors. I'm 52, I mean, I'm gonna get cancer, I might as well get it now. I mean, I've been drinking it my whole life. You know, still young, you know, you know they still, they, I don't even drink pop hardly. I do like to drink it every once in a while, but you can get uh, pop with a- uh, Some soda? With a, uh, yeah, some soda pop, son. So uh, you can get it with real sugar. You know, that's not good for you either. Yeah, they say in different countries, Pepsi has Now you can get it in this country. Oh really? Yeah, you gotta pay more for it. More, I know right. Sierra, Sierra Mist doesn't have it has real sugar, don't it? Not all of it. Not all of it. Most of it. Like the shit you get at McDonald's yeah. don't have it. Proverbs one and seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Oh yeah, you said we're intelligent. Well, listen to this. We we have no intelligence before we got this truth. We was retarded. Right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Before I got this truth, I really didn't know shit, man. I, I might have known a couple conspiracy theories or whatever. But once I started learning this truth, I started learning all kind of shit. I know, I'm a pretty much expert on history. You know what I'm saying? What the yeah. scripture says is seek the Lord ten times more? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that makes you want to the Lord give you easy to open you open you up to that knowledge and just start pouring in. It's like in John 7:38. Says the John seven thirty eight said this. Uh, get that. John John seven and thirty eight. Because uh, yes, I done learned all kind of shit since I've been mad. I done learned how to program computers and shit. So you saying when you was in the services, you you weren't learning anything? I was what in the Marines? Learning how to kill. Oh, you huh? was in the Marines? Yeah, I was in the Marines. John seven and thirty eight. He that believeth in me, as the scriptures have said. Oh, as the script say, or as the scriptures have said. It's all about these, these scriptures. That's what it's all about. Keep going. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. The rivers of living water. That, that rivers, that living water. That's that spirit of truth. Just, that's the spirit of knowledge. The Lord pour all that knowledge on you. He just open you up. You ever watch that movie, The Matrix? You had you see how they plugged that computer in the uh, ne uh, Neo's brain. He downloaded how to how to fight in like two seconds or whatever. I mean that's pretty much a metaphor for uh, how, how fast <laughs> it's a spirit to quicken it. Yeah, that movie is confusing. Well, it's a metaphor. How many times you seen it? Like maybe once or twice. See yeah. if you watch it twenty times, it's not that confusing. Take twenty times. No, I, get, right. I used to watch that shit every day. But there's a more than that. Of, there's tons of hidden shit in there. There's, there's a scripture on the. Follow the white rabbit. You can look up hit, hitting hidden shit in the Matrix movies on YouTube. Ain't nothing but a wound. Yeah, ain't nothing but a what? A wound. A wound. That's all. Oh yeah, the Matrix. The, the word Matrix is in the Bible. But it's talking about the uh, the womb, like the, with the cattle, the cattle's womb or the woman's womb. Yeah, right. Yeah, most movies are somewhat based on the, the word place. matrix comes from the Not word most, but a lot of them are. comes from the word um, uh, matre. You know, that's where you get the word madre, mother. Related to mother. Matrix. The matrix comes from it means mother. That's pretty much what it means from the mother, from the womb. That's what it means. In the movie The Matrix, they was all up in the matrix. They was in the womb as the babies. They the computer's womb. <laughs> must anybody must have been a big wound. Anybody know when that uh, new uh, Exodus movie coming out? Oh, I just seen the preview for it today. Christian oh, Bell is Moses. It's a new Exodus movie coming out with um, Exodus or Ex 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 Exodus. 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 It's directed by, directed by Ridley Scott. Yeah, what's the dude that's playing on? Christian Bell. Yeah. Batman's playing Moses. Oh, Christian Bell. Yeah. yeah. He's a good actor, but I don't like Batman. Yeah, but he don't look like the person that played Moses. Did you see him in America? Them right? motherfucking dogs. That movie yeah, looks like it's gonna be dope. I thought you don't watch movies. Man, I, didn't, I, I <laughs> recently, I, I, last the past year or two, I've watched a handful of movies. That movie like it's gonna be dope. I hope they don't fuck it up like they fuck Noah. Oh, they fuck. Oh, I still ain't seen Noah. Noah. 
That came Man, out last year? I turned that shit off. Earlier this year. Uh-uh, I didn't see it. That nose garbage. I, I, like, I can't come watch on, it. I, I can't. can't. It's disgusting. It's unwashable. It was disgusting. It's unwashable. Disgusting. Well, I got to take my old ass here. I can't stand the clothes on you guys. You yeah, you got them. Yeah, you got them plastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's like. I know how it is. It's, it's, it's a, a joke. Phone, ain't they? It's a joke. I came out here before in the wintertime wearing some Chuck Taylors. <laughs> really? Boy, I, I thought. He yeah. felt his feet to the bone. Yeah, I felt like I was walking on bones. What is what are Chuck Taylors? The All Stars, the Converse. Chief Dr. James. You know, I'm they ain't Dr. cheap Dr. no James. more. They like sixty dollars now. That well, they used to be like fifteen dollars. They ain't nothing to them. You know what I'm saying? You're a free dude. Feet will fall off. You remember Dr. James? You know the Chuck Taylor All Stars. All right. When he played in the ABA before the NBA. The ABA. That was an old gangster shit. <laughs> How do you not know what?